Two people are dead after the van they were in drove off the South Jetty, crashing into the water below. It took about two hours for rescuers to find the van after it was taken away in the current. The van was pulled out of the water just before 9 o'clock tonight, and ABC 7's Jess Daldrick joins us live from Venice with more. She's been following this story all evening. Jess. Good evening, Haley. It's still a very active scene here at the Heigl Marine Park. Take a look behind me right now. They're getting ready to tow the van from the scene. Like you said, they did tow it out of the water about two hours ago now, but just now they're towing it from the scene. The coroner did just leave not too long ago. Now I talked to several witnesses today who saw this van crash into the water. They tell me it was parked on the south side of the jetty when it accelerated forward and hit a park bench. They say it then went into reverse backed up before accelerating forward again over the rocks and into the water. Dozens watched as this white minivan quickly sank to the bottom of the jetty. Witnesses describing the victims as frantic, pounding on the windows, begging for help. Several people dove in in an unfortunate, unsuccessful attempt to save the pair inside. After Venice Police Department Marine Patrol, the Sheriff's Office, and several other agencies spent hours searching, the vehicle was recovered 15 feet underwater, about a quarter mile away from where it submerged. Police towed the vehicle to the Marie Heigl boat ramp the deceased still inside. Tim Corbs watched the tragedy play out. He was sitting on his boat just feet from where the van crashed into the water. He immediately jumped in to help. And I dove in and swam, swam over and couldn't get the doors open, couldn't get the slider open, tried the rear hatch, screaming for people to help. And uh, my friend Brett actually dove in with a couple of tools. He was able to break the driver rear window and we couldn't get the occupants from the front seat compartment and uh, it filled up with water and went down like a rock. Again, police have not yet identified the victims inside the vehicle. There were two people inside, a male and a female. Of course, this investigation is still ongoing. There's no word on this time at this time what may have caused the van to accelerate into the water. We will continue to follow this story on mysuncoast.com and, of course, right here on ABC7. For now, live in Venice, Jess Aldrich, ABC7, your Suncoast News.